physical presence of it is quite important for me. And I think very visually about what I'm doing. I think the models are visual ones. The musicians find themselves in a particular kind of situation as well. Some sort of sonic situation or environment that you suddenly come into the presence of. I suppose I'm trying to draw a listener into the into certain qualities of sound and I place those kind of sonic phenomena in a simple structure which allows the listener to then play with whatever happens. Right. So the listener is kind of engaging creatively with what they encounter. I mean it's in a constant state of flux but because of the way the structure of the piece works, these chords, mm. there are certain points in the piece where there'll be more change. Right. If you like. Yeah. It sort of just shifts a little bit. Right. Shifts yeah. again a little yeah. bit and then you can focus on that and then it shifts again yeah. a little bit. Just like yeah. something turning or yeah. seeing a different side or something or it, or it morphing slightly. Yes. Or you put a filter across it or something, you know, it's just moves yeah. a little bit. Just That's helps you get a different kind of view on the instruments that are playing, because basically the instruments of the musicians that are playing are the material, as yeah. much a part of the piece as the notes that I've chosen. It's about foregrounding that experience of sound. Yes. I mean, because all music is about experiencing sound. Mm. But sometimes I think engagement with that sound and the physical quality of that sound somehow goes to the background because there are a whole bunch of other issues and uh, or a whole bunch of other um, things that the composer is trying to explore and somehow take priority over the actual sound. I mean that sounds ridiculous but I think that happens. that are making things from sound or instigating performances of sound, music, um, but we spend a lot of time designing something that's visual. Mm. I think that's really interesting. I think right. the players engage differently in a way, perhaps, or listen differently when they're performing, when they've got a score like this. It kind of emphasises the live element of the music in a way. I, mean, I just think about harmony as being kind of inseparable from timbre, which is sort of inseparable from the instruments in the group. I'm trying to capture these sonic, uh, these sort of unstable sonic phenomena, and just giving them somewhere to exist. <laughs>